see they've made pretty good progress. It doesn't take long to get these pans set up. And then once they get them all formed, then they pour a footing all the way around them to secure and hold them into place. But what they're doing, they have a little bit of a deep end here. And you can see at the other end, those are steps. They've made them extra long. So they're kind of like you can lounge on them. And it goes all the way across, kind of a nice place to hang out. Something to think about is when you're putting in a pool, where do you hide the pool equipment so it doesn't sit there and make noise while you're hanging out. So we're actually able to tuck it in clear over here and we'll hide it. You can even maybe fence it in, go around it so it's not something you look at. You want to find a way to put it away. So we were going to put it at that end and it would have been right in the middle of everything. So this worked out great. Every time you have a plan, you work it, but always trying to find a way to make it better. And that's a, an excellent choice. We've got some backfilling to do right now. We're waiting on inspections. Here's where the steps are going to go. These are big planter boxes. You can see we cut the wall down. This grade has to come up some, but they wanted the yard to slope down versus kind of go level. So we solved that problem with the concrete saw. I wasn't here to get that done. These guys come in, they move pretty quick. But now they left me with huge chunks of concrete that I have to figure out how to get out of here. Typically they cut those in little sections so they're more manageable. I'll have to make a phone call and see if they can help me out with that. But I'd like to find a way to bury these things somewhere around the foundation so we don't have to haul them away, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't know what phase you'd call this, but we're at the point where everything's roughed in. Now we're waiting for inspections. We get plumbers come back. We gotta get electrical. Then we gotta get the sprinkler systems coming in so they get fed to all the flower pots so that you don't have to bring a hose. So it makes it really nice, easy to manage. So if you think about those things, it sure makes it enjoyable having a pool so you don't have to take care and water plants every single day. So you want that looking nice. And again, I gotta figure out what to do with this stuff. So stay tuned. Is this thing on full speed? Yeah. That's it, huh? It's not like a ready mix truck, but it sure does the job. She's trying her best. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Got her cranked up to 110%. Okay, I'm here early in the morning ahead of everybody to kind of get a lay of the land and what's been done. These pools, there's a lot of uh, start and stops. You start things and then you have to stop, wait for inspections because there's pool, there's inspections for footings, there's a lot of bonding with electrical because you're around water and you got lights around here. So all that has to be bonded and protected so that no chance of getting electrocuted. That's a good thing. We got plumbers that are dealing with stuff. So now the coping around the pool edge has been installed and I'm here checking because my next job, I'm gonna be backfilling with some nicer dirt. So this is all landscape beds. And I think we have enough sitting right over here, uh, still in the backyard, which will be plenty to go around all this right here. I gotta talk to the landscape architect to find out what their intentions are for back here, 
we would need to get a fence would be nice to build around that so that that is not in view around the pool it's out of the way these covers I can know what's nice about these covers right here that's what that little housing is that when you're done with the pool you hit the button the thing goes over and uh, it's very safe for kids it also helps keep the pool warm. It's efficient, costs quite a bit of money, but I think they pay for themselves over time, especially if you want to extend the life of the season of your pool, not the life, but the enjoyment of your pool. Remember, we're in Nebraska, so our pool season probably is June, July, August, maybe a little September, so they can stretch it out. So this looks already good backfilled, so I think we're good in here, but uh, we got a, their concrete guy, since we have a pool contractor, we got a landscape architect and myself, that there's a lot of people's toes are touching. We don't want to overstep our boundaries. So I always believe if the pool guy's running the pool, I built the walls. And so the question is, who's going to pour the concrete? Well, <clears throat> the same guy that poured the coping around the pool, I would like to have finish the rest of the job so that there's not two concrete contractors touching each other because in the event something goes wrong, they point fingers at each other and they all seem to point back to me. I don't want that to happen. So there's a lesson there. If you got a job, don't mix contractors. And the same example goes for roofs, roofs, roofs. That there's some guy that felts a roof, there might be a guy that flashes the roof, and another guy that installs the roof. Make sure all three of those jobs are one guy. So if there's a roof leak, you know who to call. Anyway, they decided they're gonna put concrete steps right in here, coming down, and I have to extend the patio. And they have some steps off their patio that's made out of um, like decking material. We're going to use that same material right over here because you have to get off this patio to get down to this elevated area. So there's that stoop little pad has to come out. And this is gonna be the elevated yard. It's gonna be grass. So we did get the wall cut down and then I've seen these big foundation cuts that have been, those gotta be picked up and hauled away. So getting real close to where we can hand this thing over to the landscapers, hopefully real soon in some of these videos, We'll show you what it looks like all done. So weather's been holding, no rain, just nice, hot, and sunny. That way we get work done, but the guys, it's always something. Too wet, too hot, too much work. seeing is just a thin little layer of cushion it looks like a little bit of insulation but it has no insulation value it's just there so when you're swimming and you touch the side of the pool you ever had those liners where you touch it and it just has a small little softness to it that's what that's doing so you don't feel like you bunk your head on a concrete wall you got a sixteenth of an inch of cushion before you bang your head anyway thought I'd share that with you oh Got my truck back, had a scratch in that door and they had to paint this part, this part. I don't know, I feel like they had to paint the whole truck just to get the scratch out of the door. So I'm back to driving my Ford again. These guys worked really fast. They uh, got the cover on and the pools filled up. Darn, I missed it. They had to go check on a few other jobs and uh, I wanted to see it because they take the uh, fire hose, hook it up to the fire hydrant they put a meter on it so they can get paid back the city the water they're using to fill the pool up so that's a fast way to fill up I don't know how many gallons of this waters this pool holds but so they've started with the liner it's not officially all put together but they're protecting it to keep all the dirt out because tomorrow we're back filling and then the landscapers will come and start making this thing look like a beautiful backyard so I believe that, those there, these little pieces are, I don't know what those are. I guess I have to find out. So I'm along for the ride on this thing. My job is just to kind of create the foundation, build the pet building site, and then the pool guys come in and then they do their business. Once they're done, then we come back, backfill, and then I hand it over to the landscapers. So that's the next two stages. Those white pipes sticking out, those are all the drains that are going to go into the landscaping beds and around the area to catch the additional water. We already will, they'll have drains coming around the outside edges of the pool, but those there are just to take any excess that gets on the top 
And so when it goes down below, it drains out, doesn't put any pressure on the wall. So we also have some down here. The sprinkler guys have gotten their jobs done. You can see the little flags, all these beds here and here will have automatic sprinklers in them. So when you plant your flowers, make it look nice. You don't have to worry about maintaining it. So there will be some more concrete work that has to get done. This sidewalk is too small. They want to make it bigger. We got to build a retaining wall to hold up this level. And uh, it's looking good. So tomorrow's backfill day. Okay, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of subs and various people that are involved with the swimming pool. It's not just one contractor. Remember, we had the landscape architect. Uh, then we've got to deal with the foundation guys. We have to deal with backfill. We have a sprinkler system guy, plumber, electricians, and then the swimming pool people. And then we have to have a guy to come in and build some of the retaining walls. And then the landscape architect comes back at the very end, landscapes, and then there's also a concrete guy. So a lot of pieces and parts. This is coming together nicely. We're at basically at the stage kind of related to the house we got all the groundwork in it's kind of like if the framing's done the pool's on the ground next video we will be wrapping up the swimming pool and showing you the completed product well, hopefully with the weather holding it's been nice and hot which is good for keeping things dried out but super hot weather and windy is bad for concrete so let's see what this next week comes weather wise let me know if you guys like these kind of videos um, this is the first one I think I've done with the swimming pool and there's a lot of other different things we could do So reach out to me. Tell me what you'd like to see what you like what you don't like and uh, Please be kind. I will always try to get do my best to get back to you guys So I got some hats and uh, if you are a new to this channel Please subscribe and for you guys that have been with me all along. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support We're at over 80,000 subscribers in about two and a half years. That is fantastic thank you so much my goal is to get to 100,000 so please help me out tell your friends and I will see you guys on the next job site